Top 20 Google Cloud Data Flow Interview Questions Question 1. What is Google Cloud Dataflow used for? A. Data migration across clouds. B. Data pipeline management and processing. C. Database management. D. File storage in the cloud. The correct answer is B. Data pipeline management and processing. Dataflow is a fully managed service for building data pipelines. Question 2. Which programming language is used for Dataflow SDK? A. Python. B. Java. C. Go. D. C++. The correct answer is B. Java. Dataflow SDK supports both Java and Python. Question 3. What is a key feature of Google Cloud Dataflow? A. Real-time data processing. B. Offline data analysis. C. Data migration. D. Data storage. The correct answer is A. Real-time data processing. Dataflow supports real-time and batch data processing. Question 4. What does the Dataflow template feature allow? A. Running pre-built jobs easily. B. Creating new cloud storage buckets. C. Real-time data processing only. D. Machine learning integration. The correct answer is A. Running pre-built jobs easily. Templates enable easy execution of pre-built pipeline jobs. Question 5. What is the main purpose of Dataflow runners? A. Deploy pipelines across regions. B. Execute data pipelines. C. Store processed data. D. Analyze data locally. The correct answer is B. Execute data pipelines. Runners execute and manage the execution of pipelines. Question 6. Which service does Dataflow integrate with for monitoring? A. Google Stack Driver. B. BigQuery. C. Google Cloud Console. D. Google Sheets. The correct answer is A. Google Stack Driver. Dataflow integrates with Stack Driver for monitoring pipeline performance. Question 7. Which is a Dataflow transformation type? A. Grouping. B. Splitting. C. Pardo. D. Classifying. The correct answer is C. Pardo. Pardo is used to apply processing logic to each element. Question 8. What is the benefit of using Apache Beam in Dataflow? A. Unified batch and stream processing. B. Faster data processing. C. Easier data storage. D. Simplified security setup. The correct answer is A. Unified batch and stream processing. Apache Beam allows unified processing for both batch and stream data. Question 9. Which feature of Dataflow helps scale data pipelines? A. Auto scaling. B. Data storage expansion. C. Region based deployments. D. Machine learning. The correct answer is A. Auto scaling. Dataflow automatically scales pipelines based on load using auto scaling. Question 10. What does Dataflow use to store intermediate data? A. Cloud Storage. B. BigQuery. C. Cloud Spanner. D. Cloud Pub Sub. The correct answer is A. Cloud Storage. Intermediate data in Dataflow is typically stored in cloud storage. Question 11. How can Dataflow handle large data volume processing? A. Partitioning the data into subsets. B. Splitting pipeline tasks. C. Multiple pipeline runs. D. Both A and B. The correct answer is D. Both A and B Dataflow uses partitioning and splits tasks to handle large volumes. Question 12. 
What is Dataflow's default processing engine? A. Apache Flink. B. Apache Hadoop. C. Apache Beam. D. Google Kubernetes Engine. The correct answer is C. Apache Beam. Dataflow runs pipelines on Apache Beam by default. Question 13. How does Dataflow manage pipeline execution? A. Using execution graphs. B. By deploying to local servers. C. By manually controlling nodes. D. Using a control panel. The correct answer is A. Using execution graphs. Dataflow uses execution graphs to manage pipeline execution flow. Question 14. How are errors handled in Dataflow pipelines? A. Automatically retried. B. Manually corrected. C. Ignored. D. Logged and reported. The correct answer is A. Automatically retried. Dataflow retries failed operations automatically based on defined policies. Question 15. Which service does Dataflow use for streaming data? A. Google PubSub. B. BigQuery. C. Cloud Functions. D. Cloud SQL. The correct answer is A. Google Pub. Sub. Google Pub. Sub is used for streaming data in Dataflow. Question 16. What is the default output location in Dataflow? A. Cloud SQL. B. BigQuery. C. Cloud Storage. D. Cloud Data Store. The correct answer is C. Cloud Storage. The default output location is Cloud Storage in Dataflow. Question 17. What kind of processing does Dataflow perform? A. Batch processing only. B. Streaming processing only. C. Both batch and streaming. D. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Both batch and streaming. Dataflow supports both batch and streaming data processing. Question 18. Which of these is a Dataflow feature for data transformation? A. MapReduce. B. Windowing. C. Sharding. D. Data replication. The correct answer is B. Windowing. Windowing is a feature used for data transformation in Dataflow. Question 19. Which cloud service is not commonly integrated with Dataflow? A. Cloud SQL. B. BigQuery. C. Google Drive. D. Cloud PubSub. The correct answer is C, Google Drive. Google Drive is not typically integrated with Dataflow. Question 20. How does Dataflow provide pipeline scalability? A, by auto-scaling compute resources. B, by reducing data size. C, by using fewer pipelines. D, by using advanced algorithms. The correct answer is A. By auto scaling compute resources, Dataflow automatically scales resources to meet pipeline requirements.